Hello, greetings all. Welcome back to our English class. I hope you all would have gone through the rules of adjectives and degrees of comparison, which was taught to you all in the previous video lecture. Well, now we will all enjoy the exercises and the answers of adjectives and adverbs in today's class. So let's get started. So, our first exercise is write the comparative and superlative forms of the following adjectives. You are given a list of adjectives and you have to write them into the comparative and superlative forms. So, let's write all the answers one by one. Our first adjective is Y-O-U-N-G, Young. What to do in the comparative form? You have to add ER in the comparative form and EST in the superlative form. Just write down younger and youngest. So these are the answers of first adjective young. Okay. The second adjective is fat. Do remember when the last letter is preceded by a vowel. What is the consonant over here? T and it's preceded by A. So what to do? You have to double the last letter. So the spellings will be fatter. F A double T E R fatter and the superlative form will be fattest. Double T E S T fattest. Okay, now we will move on to the third degree that is light, L-I-G-H-T, light. It is lighter and lightest. Our fourth adjective is brave. Do remember I told you when the word is ending with E word ends with e then you have not to add er just add r in the comparative form and st in the superlative forms then the answer will be braver and the superlative form is bravest next adjective is happy the word ends in y word ends in y then you have to remove Y. What you have to do? You have to write IER in place of Y to make it into comparative form. So the answer will be happier. Its superlative form will be happiest. Okay. Now we will move on to the sixth adjective which is rich. What you have to do? The last letter is consonant just to add ER in the comparative form and EST in the superlative form. So this is all about adjectives. 1 to 6 adjectives we have written their comparative and superlative forms. Let's move on to the next uh, adjective which is that lazy number seven lazy what would be the comparative form of lazy y is to be removed and write ier in the comparative form and iest in the superlative form laziest our eighth adjective is deep d double e p deep Deeper, deepest. Okay, now number nine is sticky. S T I C K Y. Again, the last letter is Y. So, what you have to do? Change it into I E R. Stickier. S T I C K I E R stickier and the superlative will be stickiest. 
Next, our adjective is bold. B O L D, bold. Its comparative form is bolder, and the superlative will be boldest. So the eleventh adjective is neat. N E A T, neat. What would be the comparative neater and the superlative neatest? Now we will move on to the twelfth adjective, which is crazy. C R A Z Y. Its comparative is C R A Z I E R crazier, and superlative will be C R A Z I E S T craziest. Next adjective is lucky. L U C K Y. Its comparative will be luckier. L U C K I E R luckier. L U C K I E S T luckiest. Poor, poorer, E R and E S T is to be written at the end of the adjective to put them into the comparative and superlative forms. Next is stranger. Just to add R with strange and write down in the comparative form. Then strangest. Add S T in the superlative form. Ugly. The word ends in Y, so write I E R at the end in comparative form and I E S T in the superlative. form tasty tastier i e r and tastiest i e s t is to be written in place of y hot hotter the last letter is to be doubled as the preceding letter of the last letter is vowel so hotter Hottest, double T E R, double T E S T, hottest. Full, fuller, fullest. The last adjective of this exercise is sweet. It's a sweeter. E R and sweetest, E S T. So this is all about exercise A. Let's move on to the exercise B. Exercise B. Complete the following table. What you have to do? You have to complete the table by changing the given adjectives into the comparative or superlative. Even in some cases, they have given comparative form or superlative forms in which you have to change them into the base form too. Let's see our first adjective, which is given in the comparative column. Here the comparative form is written spicier. So what would be the base form of spicier? Spicy. S P I C Y. So this is the first answer. Spicy. And the superlative of spicy is spiciest. E S T spiciest. So this is the second blank for the first adjective. Spicier. So do remember when the word ends in i e r, then the base form should be written with y at the end. Spicy, and the superlative is spiciest. So the second adjective is different. What would be the comparative of different? More different and most different. Let's put it into the box. More different, and the superlative of different is most different, as the word has more than one syllable. Do remember, when a word has more than one syllable, it has two syllables or three syllables, and we can't add er or est. We have to write more than most. Next adjective is largest. So, what would be the base form of largest? Large, larger, largest is already given to us. So, let's put them in the box. Which are the blanks? 
work here. Next is newer. So the base form of newer is new and the superlative will be newest. Right? Next uh, adjective is blue. The comparative form of blue is bluer. Just remember it's a uh, last wet its last letter is E. So what you have to do? Just add R with blue and ST in the superlative form to make it bluest. So these are the comparative and superlative forms of blue. Next is naughtiest. Naughtiest. So what would be the base form? Because it ends in IEST. So the base form will be N-A-U-G-H-T-Y naughty. The word ends in Y and the comparative will be naughtier. Of course, naughtier because the base form ends in Y. So the comparative will be written with IER. At the end of naughty, we will write uh, naughtier here, less, little, less, and the superlative will be least okay now we will move on to the eighth example so the eighth adjective is happy so comparative form of happy is happier h a double -P, p i e r happier and h a double -P, p i e s t i e s t is the happiest superlative form of happy now comes the worst which is written in the superlative column. So what would be the base form? It is an irregular adjective. Yes. So what would be the base form of worst? Bad. Worse. And the superlative is already given to us which is that worst. Bad, worst, worst. Now the last adjective of this exercise is smaller which is given and the which is given in the comparative form smaller so what would be the base of smaller small and the superlative will be smallest this is all about the exercise b let's move on to exercise c exercise c complete the following sentences using the suitable form of comparison of the adjectives given in brackets so here we are given 10 sentences in which the adjective is given in the bracket. So what you have to do in this question, you have to read the sentence. Then find out if than is written means comparison is made between two persons, two things or two places. Then you will put the given adjective into the comparative form. If the is written in the sentence before the blank means before writing the adjective then you will put that given adjective into the superlative form let's see the first sentence today's breakfast is dash than yesterday's the given adjective is tasty so than is written because it is compared between two days today's and yesterday's so the right answer should be tastier t a s T I E R, tastier. Second one is Amravati is the dash restaurant in this area. The adjective given is good. As I told you, if the is preceded the blank, the is coming before the blank, then you will put the given adjective into the superlative form. Very simple to put the answer into the superlative form or the comparative form just see if than is written then you put it into the comparative form if the is given before the blank then put it into the superlative form so the right answer should be the best the best the number three which dog is dash peppy or Tommy, the given adjective is friendly. So what should you do? Which dog is friendlier? The correct answer is friendlier. 
Number four, the silk from China is dash than that from India. The given adjective is fine. So the correct answer should be finer. F I N E R. Finer. Number five. Our trip to Andamans was the dash one we have ever had. The dash. So what should be the correct answer? The most enjoyable. Most enjoyable. Number six, Mr. Singh was named the dash, the dash employee of the company. The given adjective is dedicated. So what should be the correct answer? If the is given before the, give, before the blank, then you will put it into the superlative form. So what should be the right answer? The most dedicated. Just wait. The most dedicated. Number seven, Ranjit finds Hollywood films dash than Bollywood films. The given adjective is interesting. So what should be the correct answer? If the blank is given along with than, then you have to put it into the comparative form. So Ranjit finds Hollywood films more interesting than Bollywood films. So the correct answer should be more interesting. Number eight. In summer, the days are dash and the nights dash. The given adjectives are long and short. So what would you do? Write down the answer longer and shorter. Some of the days are shorter. Sorry. In summer, the days are longer and the nights shorter. Let's move on to the next sentence, ninth, which is the dash. Remember the dash planet in the solar system. So what should be the answer? The given adjective is large. What would be the superlative form of large? Yes, largest, the largest. Number 10 and the last sentence is Deepak Prasad is the dash actor on TV. So if the adjective is preceded by the, so what would you write in the answer? Put it into the superlative form. So the correct answer should be most handsome. The given adjective is handsome. So put it into the superlative form, most handsome. So this was all about exercise C. Now we will move on to the last exercise of this lesson, D. Filling the blanks in the following sentences using the suitable forms of comparison of the adverbs. Please do remember this exercise is pertaining to adverbs. Already we have done all the exercises which were based on adjectives. But this last exercise is related to adverbs. So what would you do? You have to simply write more or most or write uh, into the irregular forms. The first sentence is this boy spoke dash than the others. The given adjective is timidly. I told you that adverbs are commonly written with ly at the end. So what should be the correct answer when than is given in the sentence then you have to write the comparative form. So the comparative form of timidly timidly is more timidly more timidly number two does the Rajdhani Express travel dash then the Shtabdi then is given in the sentence means comparison is between two things. So the answer should be faster. F A S T E R faster. Number three. 
Hastinapuri is not dash from here. Given adjective is far. So what would be the right answer? Not farther from here. Not farther from here. Number four. Who in your group sings the dash? The given adjective is well. So what should be the superlative form of well? As I told you, when the preceded blank, the word given before the blank is the, then you have to put it into the superlative form. So the correct answer should be yes. Best. The best. Good, better, best or well, better, best. Now, the fifth blank is the soldier who fought dash did not survive to see his army victory. The given adjective is bravely. So what would you do? The soldier who fought dash did not survive to see his army victory. The given blank is bravely. So you have to write most bravely in the blank. Most bravely. The correct answer is most bravely. The officer advised his team members to talk dash to the customers. To talk more politely to the customers. More politely to the customers. Number seven. Try this pen. It writes dash than yours. So it should be more smoothly. More smoothly last blank is the king rode the dash decorated chariot given adjective is luxuriously so the correct answer should be the most decorated chariot the most luxuriously the most luxuriously decorated chariot so these are all the answers of exercise b more timidly faster farther best most bravely more politely more smoothly and most luxuriously i hope this exercise is clear to everyone you have all have completed exercise a b c and d hope you have understood all the differences all the important points of adjectives and adverbs. We will meet you soon in the next video. Thank you so much.